Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where Bitcoin is a revolution. Yes, it's a revolution, not only an evolution of technology, but also the revolution of the monetary system. In today's TA video, I have amazing charts. Yes, I will start with the Bam Bam indicator again to show you why we should have shorted or sold your uh, position yesterday. But it will be very short. And then I will go into four amazing charts of one chart that will be the last one I have never seen before. It's a kick-ass awesome chart that is showing that Bitcoin go could go to 400,000 US dollar this bull run. You need to see the chart as well. And um, watch the complete video. Um, Enjoy it. Let's jump into the first chart. Bam! How high's too high? No one knows. How low is too low? No one knows. And how much further can we all go? No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. This one. Where is my face? Not on the right place put my face down below in the corner here guys yes this is the four hour chart on aurox just showing you the bam bam indicator uh, those colors is a fibonacci retracement tool for the ones wondering um, but i told you yesterday yes we have that short flag over there and that's the moment to sell your position the long one over there or you stay in it till we close the candle down below it that's a more risky trade because if we don't close down below it, that's the rooster waking up, we can still go up higher. And if we go up higher, we will probably go to this level here of the 0 0.618. That's almost 49,300. And if we go higher than that, that will be the 50K level. If we break a candle down below it, we could fall back all the way to 46,900 or to that next level of 45,580. So for me, Profit is profit. If you would have taken that profit over there at the short flag, um, that would be 6.2% without leverage. That would be 60% with leverage. And if you would be taking it now, it would still be 5.4%. So, a uh, good call by the Bam Bam indicator. Um, you decide if you take the profit or not. Then, we are uh, talking about the Fibonacci. Let's have a quick look to the Fibonacci on the day chart. And uh, look. That line that I've been telling you that we've been fighting all the time, the 2.618 over here, we still fight it, but now again we came above it, maybe a small retest before we go higher, uh, but we need to create a higher high over here, like something like that, which would be 54,000 US dollar. Let's see, the weekend will always be volatile, like we know. Um, how are the other currencies doing? Um, Solana for the ones that are in Solana. The Bam Bam told you to sell around $200. Um, we found support now on the midline of this Bollinger Band. If we break that one at 149, we could even fall to the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which would be or below $100, guys. And then you could buy back. Um, on the Bam Bam, on the daily, we crossed already. Just to show you, we crossed already downwards over there. There's a lot of yellow, and the red line is on top. These are all bearish indicators. This line now is at 76. We can fall all the way down with the gray midline to the level of 30, which would indicate then falling to there. But for now, we find support over here. So not freaking out, just zooming out. If you're not in the short, don't go in and now just wait until um, we get a confirmation. Uh, that's Solana. Uh, I know you don't want to hear that we fall that far, Solana friends. Uh, Cardano, we are now opening almost along. So we have the long flag already over there. Uh, we need to close the candle above the yellow stepping line. The bam needs to cross that gray line. And this yellow needs to turn green. So that's still not a trade on the daily. But we know some people of you are swing trading. You can use the BAM for that as well. Okay, quickly, BAM. Over here. This is the CME uh, group. Uh, this is where the CME will be closed tonight. Um, let's take a look what level we will close. Will it be 48,000? Will it be 49,000? Because in the weekend we will be volatile. But on the Monday we will probably close again at that level that we closed on the Friday. Just a small tip, uh, often this happens, not always, but often. Now, let's quickly jump in those 
amazing charts that you're waiting to see because you need to see those charts. Oh, that rooster really wants to have attention. Uh, he needs food or something or a chicken. Um, let's jump into those charts and let me bam over here. So this is the first chart. This is not the, the most amazing chart, but this is also a cool chart. The most amazing chart will be saved to the last. You need to watch it all till the end. It's not a long video. It's not a long video. But guys, um, on this amazing chart, you have the STH rollover oscillator. The only thing that I want to tell you, if you compare the mid section of the bull runs in 2014, for example, this is the mid section there we went above the pinkish area if we look at the mid section here in 2017 that is the mid section we went above that pinkish area now again we went above that pinkish area when we were 60k 64k so that could be that mid section again the top of the ball run look we were lower in the yellow area the top of the bull run in uh, wait this one we were in the pinkish area so this yellow line this one now is at this level okay let's see this level we are now so that is very low that is even almost as low as the bear market you know so we are going up from here so from my perspective i think we will and somewhere in this yellow box and that will be the top of the bottom cool chart next one bam this one is telling us the same i don't know if my face uh, my face is exactly before front in front of chart btc i need to give him credits um i really like his charts um you see the cycle bottom over there and the bottom low was in the 15th of december 2018 3185 we have the halving over there after the halving and after the cycle bottom the top in 2017 was 112 times higher than the cycle bottom we are now at 15 times higher than the cycle bottom but again look at that red line and that white line how they exactly act the same move the same in that mid cycle and even now this here we went up again and we are pulling back a little bit this is the whole mid cycle we will get in my opinion that blow off top and that blow off top will surprise everybody because nobody's going to expect it that bitcoin is going to do something like that bam a little bit later than a 2070 cycle but we are having a blow off top in my opinion really cool chart okay we are getting closer to the chart this is the chart i found today um, i found it bam on this guy's twitter miles j creative so yo hala miles all the credits go to you and this is the chart bam i haven't seen such a beautiful colorful chart in the last months maybe even years i'm going to make my face very small so that it doesn't like this there is a lot of information on this chart if i were you i would pause the video and look at the chart um, and then again play the video and listen to what I have to say but this chart is telling us that we go to go could go with this peak to 450k and why this chart and average tells us that the cycle that we are making now is an average of the previous two cycles so if we look at the dips so from the mid to the dip this dip was 80%. Now the dip over here in the mid cycle was 39%. So the average would be a 55% dip. Okay, that's the dips. If we, um, if you look from the halving to where the mid cycle dip touches the 1.618 line, then this cycle is actually is exactly an average of the previous two in percentage gain the blue line so from the halving till we touched that 1.618 line was a 300 percent run in 2013 
a 190% run in 2017, a 268% run now, also exactly in the middle. So we have the dip, which is an average. So we have um, the growth from the the growth from the halving till the touch of the mid cycle, which is an average. Do we have more cycles as an average? Um, the first one was a 9,800% growth in total. The second one was a 3,000% growth. The average would be 6,400% growth, which would bring us to 450,000. So this, what you see in this, if we add the red line on top of the current mid cycle, because that is what he calculates as well. Sorry, I forgot that one. This red line over here is the top of the mid cycle. And that red line, the top of the mid cycle became the bottom of the bear market here on this side. Here again, the top of the mid cycle became the bottom of the bear market. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So the top of that cycle became the bottom of the bear market. And here again, the top there became the bottom there. So if the top of this, if we would be exactly in the mid cycle as this chart is predicting, then the top of that one will be the bottom of the bear market. So the bottom of the bear market would be, let's be um, clear, then the bottom of the bear market here would be 65K. And that means if that would be the bottom, then the top should be 80% higher because that's always we fall on average back 80%. Because look, this yellow line is telling us from the top to the bottom we fell 86%. The last cycle we fell 84%. So if an average we fall 85% from the top to that new bottom of the bear market, which will be 64k, then the top needs to be 450,000 US dollar. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Again, pause the video, look at the chart again, look at all the averages, they are all moving exactly the same. But this cycle is an average of the first two cycles. And if we pull back with 84%, like we have done in uh, the previous two cycles, to the bottom, which will be the bear market and if that bottom would be the top of the mid cycle of the bull run like it was over there and like it was over there then that would be 64k and that would mean we need to go to 450,000 to create that new bottom of 64k okay that's a lot of speculation i know but i really like this chart uh, of course even if we go above 200k i'm already happy but you know it's a beautiful chart bam that was everything for today that was the most bullish chart i could find at the moment um, i really like it of course guys it's speculation we don't know the future we can't predict the future maybe we will fall back down maybe we already had the top but i will always try to look at life um, as if the class is half full and not half empty i want to have a positive uh, uh, positive view on the market for me we are around the mid of the market like always in july and we will end this bull market between december and february somewhere and that top could be around 450k could be around 221,000 us dollar i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment about this chart what do you think about this chart do you think bitcoin could reach 450k at the top of this cycle let me know down below thanks for watching i wish you an amazing friday a beautiful weekend and see you tomorrow again Bye.